All right. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Right. And as you can see, the lesson is titled "We Must Feed the Flock." Right. Now, earlier this day, I was watching a video from the uh, from the brother Yakov from GMS. You know, um, he was going into about feeding the flock, and this lesson, whenever this lesson gets brought up, is very personal to me. Because uh, especially how I came into the truth, because, uh, you know, it was a brother, He you know, he was being diligent at first, you know, constantly teaching me, having class, you know, what I mean, you know, trying to trying to build me up, essentially. Right. But then as time went on, what happened is the brother stopped being diligent. He stopped. He stopped teaching. He stopped feeding the flock. You know, he stopped doing those things. Right. And it became less and less. So, you know, uh, sometimes we would skip weeks. You know, then it would, the weeks would turn to months, then the months turned into like six months or, 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 or some time after that. You feel me? So it, it got to the point where it said enough is enough. You know, uh, you know, I, I got to get my spirit fed. Right. And this is this is this is what happens a lot in Israel. Right. So the point is, we got to we, we, we got to constantly feed the flock. Right. We got to constantly make sure new brothers coming in is getting nourished. And even brothers that's been in this truth. For a little bit now, are constantly getting nourished and fed. Why? Because what happens when, as a shepherd, you don't feed your flock, but you feeding your own self. You making sure you getting the breakdowns and you got that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, but you are not uh, uh, seeing fit to go ahead and teach it, teach it, teach it your, your, your brothers, man. You know, because even if it's a brother on my same level or more than me, he has to get he, he has to get constantly get fed as well. So we all getting fed from some way, somehow. Like it's it's like like you know it's like a circle, man. You see what I'm saying? So no matter even if you top guy in Israel, you got somebody that you listening to. You know, you got you got you got somebody videos that you that you you know you hearkening to, right? So the point is, everybody constantly needs to be fed and needs to be feeding. You see what I'm saying? This is what's required of us. So without further ado, I'm gonna just hop right in the scripts, right? Ezekiel 34 and 1. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. Prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God unto the shepherds. Woe be to the uh so like it, woe be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves. Right? So it said the uh, uh, the the most high is sending Ezekiel to say, Woe be to the shepherds that feed themselves. So you just worry about feeding your own self. You know, whether it's, you know, uh, uh, feeding off of brothers, you know, uh, in, a, in a monetary way where, you know, you coming up on brothers, you know, uh, 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 you know, coming up on brothers ties. Right. So how, how do you see fit to take brothers ties if you're not constantly, you know, uh, feeding them and, and, and feeding the flock? I wouldn't even feel right. You see what I'm saying? Uh, like or, 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 or getting brothers, to, you know, to come into the camp so they could just buy your gear. And whatnot, that's 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 not that's not cool, man. Right? So there's a lot of shepherds like that in Israel, you know, and and, and, and some of these camps, right? And, and just even out of the camps as well. So it says, Woe be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves. Should not the shepherd feed the flocks? So look at that, man. That's a rhetorical question right there. Should not the shepherds feed the flocks? Of course they should. How is the how how is this uh, how is the, how else is the shepherd supposed to eat? It's like a, how else is the flock supposed to eat unless somebody feed them, right? So how else is somebody gonna learn something unless like some man should guide them, right? You gotta show somebody, you gotta break down the scriptures, right? And then if they can't understand it after you break it down, they're okay, then you know that's on them. But you know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you know, make sure you feed in the flock and trying to teach, right? So it says. Verse three, ye eat the fat and ye clothe you with the wool and kill them that are fed, but ye flee not, feed not the flock. So let me get that in the NLT, all right? So it says, you drink the milk and wear the wool and butcher the best animals, but you let your flock starve. Look at that, man. Like, that's that's a lot of brothers like that in Israel, man. So you 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 making sure everything good with you. You got the breakdowns, the, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, but you ain't trying to pass it on to your brothers. You're not holding class on a weekly basis, right? You know? 
uh, to, to, to give your brothers uh, and, 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 and your flock that, that, that constant uh, nourishment, man, so that way they can get built up in the spirit and get their faith built up, right? That's going off. The, the Lord said to Ezekiel, say to them shepherds, woe unto you. That means destruction, man, right? Now, how else is somebody supposed to learn unless you go ahead and teach them, right? I think this is an Acts 8. Yeah, it can. All right, so let me start up a little bit. Let me see where I want to start. All right, so look, Acts and Acts eight and twenty-eight. All right, I'm gonna start at twenty-nine. The Spirit said unto Philip, "Go near and join thyself to this chariot." And Philip ran thither to him. And heard him read the prophet Isaiah and said, understandest thou what thou readest? So did you understand what you just read? And Philip said, verse 31, and he said, how can I except some man should guide me? Right. So the point is, right, we all need to be guided in this truth. Right. This is why, you know, the most high, he had certain men get built up earlier. Right. Like years ago versus you where he just bringing you in. Or, you know, other brothers that got came in like years later or whatever, who, whoever, wherever you at in your walk. Right. This is why we got the elders. Right. This is why we got brothers who've been in here 15, 10 years, 20 years, five years, three years. You know, what I mean, however, however long. But the point is, right, you need that some man should guide you. You got to get taught. And how do you how do you how do you get taught by brothers constantly and diligently Feeding the flock of, of, of Israel, man, our people. This is something that we required to do. Ye men, you see what I'm saying? So when you're not doing the simplest of things like feeding the flock, come on, man, you're going off. Because this is something that's required of you, right? Your brothers need your help. We talk so much about brotherhood. Brotherhood, yeah, I love my people. But if you really loved your people, and you had somebody that's really trying to learn, you should feed them, man. Especially if they're willing and they're hungry. You see what I'm saying? Right? Because inevitably what I want to do is build other brothers up from what I've learned so that way they can become teachers. You see what I'm saying? So let me grab that. Hebrews 5 and 12. It says, for for when for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again, right? So when it's time for you to become teachers, right? Brothers that's, you know, getting built up in the faith, right? It's time you have need that one teach you again, right? It says, ye have need that one teach you again, be the first principles of the oracles of the Most High, and are become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. So, Brothers need this milk, man. You know the the, the breakdowns because you'll you'll start you'll you'll go online and you see certain brothers breaking certain things down and you're like, oh yeah, shoot, man. If it, you know if I could teach him this, he could learn a better way to break this particular thing down, right? Or you know what I mean? You, you see that certain brothers need nourishment so that way they can get built up and you know help with you know breaking certain things down and that way they can become more efficient in you know how they teach. You see what I'm saying? Whereas though, instead of just, uh, you know, breaking something down for, you know, a very simple topic for like 10, 20 minutes, when you can go to a script that they might not know about and just get straight to the point and cut them, cut them right from the rip. You see what I'm saying? So these different things and how to answer certain questions and how to handle certain rebuttals. You see what I'm saying? So these are things, right, that, 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 that need to uh, get taught, right? These are things that need to get fed to brothers, right? When they, you know, when they come into this thing and even still when they in this thing. Four or five years down the road. You see what I'm saying? Because not don't nobody know everything. This is why constantly brothers need to constantly feed each other. Right? So then let me go to the uh, John 21. Right? And I'm going to show you how very important it is for us to feed the flock. Right? John 21 and 17. <clears throat> I'm going to 
Let me see. Let me start at 15. All right. So John 21 and 15. So when they had uh, when they had dined, Yahweh said unto Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto them, saith unto him, feed my lambs. So he said, he said, yo, all right, if you love me, feed my flock. Verse 16, he saith unto him the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my sheep. Verse 17, he saith unto him the third time, Simon, the son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh shall I say unto him, saith unto him, feed my sheep. Right? So the point is, right, Yahweh shall I had to reiterate this three times to Simon. Right? Now, these things that were written a fourth time were written for our learning, right? So we're supposed to look at this and to see that Yahweh did this for a, a very particular purpose, right? So that when we read these things, we understand how important it is for us to constantly feed the uh, the, the, the the Lord's lambs, man. And that's, and that's your brothers and your sisters, right? This is very important because if I'm not going to do it, if you're not going to do it, if our brother's not going to do it, then who going who, who, who gonna to do it? Who gonna come serve the Lord and actually feed the uh feed your brothers, man? All right. So this is this is this is that's the point, man. All right. And let me let me read a word saying Peter. All right. First Peter five and two. All right. So yeah, first Peter five and two. Feed the flock of the Most High, which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint. So. You don't want to take constraint, like you don't want to be forcing brothers, like you know, uh, uh, you know what I mean. To uh, yo, listen, man, you gotta show up, right? Hey, listen, bro, if this nigga don't want to show up to uh the camp, if this brother don't want to show up to uh, uh the class, I'm not forcing you. You see what I'm saying, brother? If you don't want to get fed, then shit, you know, you're not gonna get fed. But the point is, you still want to make sure you. You feeding the flock to to the best of your ability, but you don't want to you you don't want to be forcing nobody to to learn because that's never a good spirit. That's never you know because even if you somehow do force them to come into the truth, right? Or or or, or to you know you know start you know coming to class or whatnot, it's not by his own like will for real. Like you know what I mean? It's it's, it's force. Like and who want that? You feel what I'm saying? Like that that brother's not going to be profitable. If you got to force him. You know what I mean? You got to do this thing of a willing, of a willing heart, man, a sincere spirit, right? And then the Lord gonna be like, you know, all right, bet I see that sincere, sincere spirit. Let me build this brother up, man. Right, right. It says, not by constraint, but willing, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind, right? So not for filthy lucre. Let's talk about money, man. So not for filthy, filthy money, man. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not feeding a flock for money. Right, I don't want nothing from you. I literally just want you to learn, get built up in the faith, so we can get the hell up out of here, man. I am tired of Babylon, right? And I know you are too. So therefore, let's do. Let's come together with, with, with a uh, with a clear effort to feed the Lord's lambs, right? And make sure our brothers, you know, and our our, our, and our sisters, Akim Nakwatim, are getting built up in this faith, man. So that way we can do what we got to do. The Lord can bless us and we can see fit that, uh, the, you know, uh, to, to, to uh, teach the teach the Lord's flock, you know, the, the, the things that are right and true. Right. So that way us and our families, right, and our household will be taken care of and protected, especially in those last days, man, which are the times we in right now. It says, neither as being lords over the most high's heritage, but being an example to the flock. So I want to be an example to you. I want you to see, yeah, okay, this brother, you mean, you know, he carried it like this. Okay, this is the way, he, all right, yeah, man. Damn, some guard don't do that. Well, you know, I ain't going to do that neither. You feel what I'm saying? You know, something like that. You know, that's the way you want to do it. Because when you carry yourself like that, men and women, they're going to see that. Brothers and sisters are going to see that. And then they're going to think that, you know, all right, well, if he can do it, shit, I can do it too. You see what I'm saying? So that's the point. But if you got a brother that you look up to, 
and he can't even do, you know, uh, uh, what's required of him. What, what is that? What does that say for you? You like that because you're looking at him like he greater than you. Right. You know, knowing that we all brothers. But if you if you've seen this brother, you know, uh, tripping up and struggling with this. Right. Not saying that we, you know, I'm not saying that brothers won't ever uh, struggle with certain things. Right. Because we're also there to also help our brothers when they do struggle. But I'm, I'm talking about something that's re required to do as simple as feeding the flock. Making sure you're teaching your brother and your sister something that's commanded to us by law, right? Thus save the Lord. So if I if I'm not seeing that brother doing something like that and I look up to this brother, what is that going to do to me? Right? That's not that's not being a good example to the brother that's under you. Or or that's not being a good example to the brother that's looking up to you, man. That's not. And and the Lord, you know, he, he's telling us, man, to be examples to the flock, man. So this is something that's required of you. So do it and don't do it for, you know, for, for filthy lucre, you know, so I can see how many shirts I can sell on this, on, on, on his brother. You know, I, 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 I'm going to sell it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to make a preset book and I'm going to sell him the preset book for a thousand dollars. Hey, bro, you want to fast track learning or right, I'm going to sell you a preset book. Just cash at me a thousand dollars. You have all the precepts and the breakdowns. Like, come on. And, and, and first off, it don't even work like that. Because I can give you all the precepts, but if you don't know how to break them down, right? If I don't teach you how to break them down, right? Then then, then, then it's worthless. Because look, I'll tell you this, right? You been had all the precepts, right? Why I say that? Because when we was back in the world and we had the Bible, right? We re when we read certain scriptures, we read over them and didn't know what they meant. You see what I'm saying? Now, the certain scriptures that the, the Christians uh, broke down, of course, we understood those, those, those joints, but I'm talking about Scriptures that you feel like, yo, I, I've read this scripture before, but then I ain't ever understood it like that. For me, it's like I, I read Revelations two and nine and three and nine before, right? But I, I, back in the world, I didn't understand that. I needed a man to guide me, right, and to break it down to me and teach it to me, right? Not sell me a precept book for a thousand dollars. So I think I'm doing something now. That's not cool. So this is why we gotta constantly feed the brothers, man. Because when I build this brother up, right, when the Lord uses me to build this brother up, he may bring people into the truth that I cannot reach. The Lord will use him in a different way than he use, than, than he's using me, right? Because, like, say say, 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 your mom or your dad or somebody in your family, right, needs to get uh, uh, brought into this truth. Like, I mean, yeah, the Lord could use me, but if he's bringing you into the truth, he'll probably have you talk to him and bring him in. And you're somebody that they trust. You see what I'm saying? So that's the point, right? We're supposed to build up our Akim and Akwathium, right? Especially, especially our Akim, right? Because we're, we're the ones tasked with, you know, teaching teaching Israel and, and bringing them back to the fold, man. You see what I'm saying? The Lord is using us to bring them back to the fold. And how do you do that? By feeding them and feeding your Akim, man. So that way they can do what's required of them, man. Right? Because the Lord has definitely chosen us and ordained us right so look look let me let, let me let me go ahead and hop on that man just 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 more about the example right i think it's first uh first thessalonians three and seven all right first thessalonians three and seven therefore brethren we were comforted over over you in all affliction and distress on oh, slacky 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 wrong joint it's second thessalonians it's on my ear, ain't it? Second, Second Thessalonians three and seven. For yourselves know how ye ought to follow us, so we know how to follow the Most High, right? For we behave not ourselves disorderly among you, right? Neither do we eat any man's bread for naught, but wrought with labor and travail night and day, that we might not be chargeable of any of you, right? So basically, right, the disciples. When they was rocking, when they was rocking with the people, right? What happened was they they was they was living in a way where they were, you know, constantly being a good example to the flock, right? And they didn't eat any man's bread for naught, you know, taking taking men's money and you know, uh, 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 you know, donations, donations, just so they can just chill. No, they they took those donations, they took those ties, whatever those arms, and, and and they used it to to to, to do the work to feed you, right? So that way we can have these, you know, these teachings and, and these things that we got now, man. Right? They was laying out the foundation. 
right? You know, when I say the foundation, I'm not talking about the world, but I'm just talking about, you know, the, the scriptures that we read in now, man. So, it says that we might not be chargeable with any of you. So that way, yeah, you ain't got nothing to say about them, man. Right? They wasn't selling precept books and selling breakdowns out. They did it, they, you know, not for filthy lucre, but to just be a good example to you and feed you and build you up. Not because we have not power to make ourselves an example unto you. Not because we have not power, but to make ourselves an example unto you to follow us. So he just like so basically what was being said is right. You got to be a good example to the flock, man. Right? You good, you, and that's also a part of feeding the flock. You living your life in a righteous way, because what that what that also does is that lets brothers see that they can do it, man. If he can do it, I can do it. You see what I'm saying? And it's a brother just like me, right? For even, for even when we were with you, this can, this we commanded you, that if any would not work, neither should he eat, right? So if you're not feeding the flock, man, if you're not out here in the highways and byways teaching your brothers and sisters, man, right, constantly making videos to teach your brothers, right, and, 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 and the sisters, man, you shouldn't eat. You don't, you don't get the benefits of this, man. And, 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 that's, and, that's, and, that's, and that's just cut and dry. If you're not doing any of the work, how you gonna reap the benefits, man? That shit, that that shit ain't even right. That's like it. That's not even right. You make us do. You let us do all the work, and then you think you're supposed to slide in and get the reward? Come on, man. It don't go like that, right? For we hear that some of you which are uh, which walk among you disorderly walk not at, working working not at all, just sitting on your ass, man. Not making videos. Right? Not going out to the highways and byways. Not trying to teach your people. Right? I see I see new brothers, you know what I mean, coming coming into this thing, making videos, right? C consistently uh 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 just reading reading over the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? That's a beautiful thing, man. Brothers, brothers making it make, make, making videos with him just reading the scriptures. That's good. You see what I'm saying? Do whatever it is that you that you can do. Posting scriptures, you know what I mean? Constantly, you know, trying to get people built up in the faith. These things, man, like, but but for, for, for those for, for those brothers, man, especially those brothers that have been in this truth for a little while now, if you're not working at all, that's not right. And you should expect no reward. It says, but our busy bodies, right? Verse 12, now them that are such, we command and exhort by our Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, that with quietness they work and eat their own bread. But ye brethren, be not weary in well doing. All right. So this this is the point. And if any man obey not our word by this epistle, note that man and have no company with them, that he may be ashamed. Right. So you gotta separate yourself from those type of people. Right. If you if you see that a man not like really about pushing his truth and being fervent in spirit and trying to uh, uh, feed the flock, you gotta note that man and separate yourself from him. You know, distance him. Distance yourself from him. Love him from a distance. Right. You see what I'm saying? So these are things that I totally agree because, right, the Most High has definitely ordained us to go ahead and bring forth fruit, right? Now, let me let me just grab that, John 15 and 16. John 15. Yeah, it comes. So the Most High, he, he called us, right, to go ahead and bring forth fruit, to, fi to feed the flock, right? This is something that the Most High has chosen us to do, right? Now, like, imagine you, you know, you, you out on the schoolyard and you get picked by, you know, uh, uh, one, 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 or you, you out at the basketball court and, you know, boy, he nice, right? You know, he, he wanted to see him and he said, yo, I want you, right? If somebody choose you and pick you for the team, right? And, and, it, and, it, and it's your honor to get, get picked on that team. You don't want to make that team look bad. You want to do your best, right? So the point is, right? You're like, all right, man, I'm going to make sure I grab all the rebounds. You know, uh, uh, make, make make all my layups, make all my shots, you know, as best as I can. Right? I'm going to make sure I get back on defense, all that, right? So you want to do the things to make that person proud. Or, or yeah, I'm going to choose him again, right? So look, check this out, John 15 and 16. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you, right? So. The most high, we didn't, we didn't choose to come into this thing, 
right? The Most High chose us. He plucked us out of out of the world and said, "I'm gonna give it to him. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna give him this wisdom, this knowledge, this understanding. I'm gonna ordain him to bring forth fruit." You see what I'm saying? So the Lord has chosen you and ordained you to bring forth fruit. If you understand, you got a, a sound wisdom, a, a sound knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, a sound doctrine, right? He has ordained you to bring forth fruit. So how dare you? How dare you not feed the flock, man? Especially when the uh, the Most High and Yahweh Shai commanded of us. So we got we got to shine, man. So with that, man, I hope you brothers and sisters, Akim and Aguathim, were edified. And I'm going to say Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Barakatah, Shalom.